First, the operator loads the part. The flow drills extend down and the part is drilled. All position of the holes drilled are programmable utilizing a servo ball screw system. The flow drill displaces material to allow for a deeper tap. After the part is drilled, it is then loaded into the tapping nest. Here, the holes are tapped while a new part is being drilled. Some of the key features of the flow drill and tap machine are the flow drills, a servo ball screw system, an Allen Bradley servo system, an Allen Bradley panel plus 1000 HMI, a Sagino tapping head, two Unimist lubrication systems, and a hydraulic clamping unit.